So today we're going to take a look at the tap light. We're going to see what it's made out of and what's inside of it. You just push it and it lights up, produces a nice warm glow, and push it again to shut it off. So the tap light has a uh, looks like a, an opaque acrylic dome here that uh, allows the light to, to spread out in a nice so soft glow. And then it has a styrene, this is a polystyrene um, surround or a bezel. So we're going to go ahead and take the screws out. There's just a, looks like four screws. These are Phillips head screws and they are uh, zinc coated steel. I'll take those out. All right, got a couple of them out. There's still a two left here. I'm going to leave the uh, the batteries in place because I want to show you what it looks like with the uh, top off when the light's on. Okay, so we got our screws out, and uh, this is this is the battery holder. You got four triple or four AA batteries there, and so we'll lift the uh, bezel off. And here's the, the top portion, and this is the, uh, the top cover, and then we've got this, this light reflector. And you'll notice that there, it's not perfectly clear, and uh, that's intentional. That allows for the light to bounce around more, and uh, because it bounces around more and goes through these, these opaque surfaces, they, uh, it, it is more diffuse. And so the light comes off as a softer glow rather than a, uh, a very harsh, sharp, uh, uh, intense light. So this is what it looks like without the... Uh, the cover and this is what it looks like with it. And you can see how that helps to just soften the light and spread it out. And if we take this part out, uh, it, I'm not sure if it shows up on the on the camera, but it's the light is more intense here and this this again helps to continue to uh, helps to scatter that light to make it a, a softer glow. All right. So uh, let's take a look at the parts inside here. So we've got a uh, we've got some springs and these springs cause the uh, the tap the, the dome to return to its regular position. And so we have three different springs here. We'll remove those. And uh, then we have a light emitting diode. And this is a, a white light emitting diode. And a light emitting diode or any kind of diode requires that current travel in in one direction. Uh, so uh, it, it basically acts as a as an electronic or a digital valve to keep the uh, current flowing in one direction. So I'll move the uh, light blockers there. All right, so uh, the, the other thing is in order to operate an LED, you need to have a, one of these guys, and that's called a resistor. Now, resistors exist basically to keep too much current from flowing to the LED and causing it to burn out before it's supposed to burn out. So one of the things uh, I have uh, been able to do and uh, is to use my iPhone to find out what the resistor code is. So uh, it's really a, a handy way to do it. it. Used to be you'd have to look it up or just memorize what the different color band codes meant. But this particular resistor is it's got a, a green band. So we'll put it on green. There we go. And it's got a looks like a navy blue band and a gold band green oh wait actually it's there's a black one sorry and then the gold one there we go so this is a 56 ohm resistor and uh that's the that's the amount of resistance that that resistor provides and the switch right here is just a momentary switch all right, sorry, it's not a momentary switch, it's a continuous switch. So that means when you push it down, it stays down, and when you let it up, it, it stays up. So the light will stay on after you, um, after you push it. And uh, the circuit is extremely simple. Basically, you've got the power from the batteries. It comes in through the, uh, through the, uh, the loop here, and uh, the switch uh, basically opens and, lo and, and closes, stops the power flow, or when you push down on it, it closes and allows the power to flow uh, in the continuous loop there. And so that's what's inside of a tap light. Let's take the batteries out really quick. So these are double A's. And now it looks like this back panel here was uh, injection molded. And you can see the uh, ejector pins there. Those are the pins that push it out of the mold. And so uh, it looks like it was injection molded. And I would say it doesn't have 
the plastic designation marking on it, but I would guess that it's probably either polypropylene or ABS plastic. Uh, so you can see in here, these, these contacts inside here uh, are probably made out of, I, I initially thought that they were made out of steel, but let's take a look. We got some magnets here, so we'll take one of our magnets and I don't think they are. So those are, those, they're probably brass contacts and uh, because the magnets are not um, attracted to them, so they're, it's not a ferrous metal. And uh, so then we've got this loop here, and this, this plastic loop prevents the uh, positive terminal on the battery from slipping below the contact. So it stays in constant contact and keeps everything together. And then you can see there's another one on this side. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's also a feature right here so that if you have a, a screw or a uh, nail on your wall, you can put the uh, tap light in and, and just hang it like that. But that's, uh, that's pretty much the tap light.